Hey gang, how's it going? It's Coach Trevor from Palace Energy, and today we are doing workout number eight. Workout number eight. So I want to give out a shout out to Burn Water. Uh, today's workout is brought to you by Burn Water. Burn Water Palace specializes in dragon boat blades. If you're looking for a quality, well thought out paddle that does the job when the water versus some kind of ornament blade that you just put up on the wall because it looks shiny and nice. Guaranteed, you get, you get the results you're looking for when you're paddling a, with a burn water 360 or 380 or 420. Take a look at their website. I use a 360 because it, it fits what I like and I feel a really good solid grab. I know that the folks up in burn water really put a lot of thought. It's not just the shape that goes along with the, sh uh, with the actual paddle, but what is actually in that paddle that makes the difference. So take a look at what they have to offer at burnwater.com. And again, check them out. They're phenomenal paddle. If you happen to do Dragon Boat, or if you're looking into getting into Dragon Boat, they also have other uh, items for sale, such as PFDs, uh, shorts, to say, to say the least. So take a look at them at burnwater.com. All right, so today's workout, we're gonna be working on understanding, so we're gonna slow things down a little bit again and, and work on getting an understanding of the movement as respects to the differences of what's the difference between leading with the bottom hand, leading with the top, and what ends up happening, right? So one of the things that I want you to think about, gang, is that I'm gonna grab a five pound weight, and before we get to work out, we're gonna do a little bit of, we're gonna do some, we're gonna do some work, right? Now, if you happen to take a look at Johnny Puke's Facebook page, or I don't know if they actually put it on YouTube or not, but they may have, but take a look at their YouTube ch uh, channel as well, at Puke Designs. Um, Johnny Puke just recently put out a pooped up tip in respects to overreach, right? And when we talk about overreach in regards to, he was talking about, if you watch that video, he's talking about that upper lat, working that upper lat. Well, we want both lats to be working, and at the same time, what ends up happening is, is that what he's addressing is this overreaching element. And where a lot of paddlers, they want to lead with that bottom arm, and they get out there, and that that top arm is nowhere near, it's not even getting engaged. It's not even being a factor because this now is doing the work. Now, to add on that, what that incorporates is lumbar rotation. Now I'm putting a lot of strain in my lower back. What we want to do is we want to upper, uh, incorporate thoracic spine rotation or upper back rotation. So instead of leading and rotating with that bottom arm, we want that bottom arm to still go out, but we want that top arm to be the, where the rotation comes from. Notice how this bottom, my bottom arm goes straight, okay? My, as I bring my hips back, my bottom arm goes out, right? Like I'm gonna set the blade, but my top hand meets it, okay? So do it from this angle again. So I come up, my, my bottom arm is picking up, it's going forward, and then boom, I'm setting. What I'm not doing is I'm not setting it where my bottom hand is getting ahead of it. So getting ahead of my body, overreaching, effectively putting strain on my lower back. We want this, right? We want that. This is what rotation, upper back rotation. If you're a surf skier paddler, you know what I'm talking about, right? So you're using that upper back. Everything is squared up from the hips on up. And we're using this area what it's designed to do, which is our second largest joint outside of our hips. So today we're going to be working on just that, right? We're going to grab, so you're going to need is two dumbbells. Recommend nothing heavier than five pounds. If you have a 10 pound, fine, but you may find that a little bit challenging with the upper hand. So if you don't have anything lighter, it's less than 10 pounds, grab a water bottle, grab something that's light, because really at the same time, you're all really ready to want to do is work the movement. So those are those things we'll be working on today. So you're going to need dumbbells. Excuse me, I need to get the five pounds here. You're going to need dumbbells, either five and 10. You're also going to need a stability ball, okay? So if you don't have a stability ball, that's fine, get a chair, okay? Um, we're going to be doing a number of other workouts as well, and we're going to be doing a lot of, lot of lat workouts, a lot of core workouts. So what we're going to work on is just working on getting our hands out, and so really feeling feeling those, those lats engaged. Now, when we talk about engagement of muscles, right, it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be a load on that muscle, to get them engaged, right? If you were to get your arms out right now, right? And just have your hands out, and then you protrude your, you round your back, you protrude your shoulders up, you'll feel actively, you'll be activating your glutes. That is what lat activation is about. It's not just thinking, I gotta feel like, what a lot of people feel like, okay, I need to get a weight, I get that weight, and then I feel that, that gravity. Well, in fact, what's happening is, is that as we lift that weight, that gravity's pulling our, Pulling our, lat, pulling our arms downward, that way we feel that activation. 
we can facilitate that same movement. And in, in, in reality, when you do that, you're setting up your muscles to really start to get ready to actually execute, right? When it goes from lats, core, the glutes. And that's what we want to work on today. So that being said, we're going to start off with a four minute warm up. I will go over certain exercises. Okay. Again, items you'll need, two dumbbells, stability ball, oh, and a paddle. So make sure you have your paddle. So we're going to run in place. We're just going to get our bodies moving. Okay. So this will be a four minute warm up. The next exercise we're going to do is we're going to do drop lunges. Drop lunges in three, two, one, go. The next exercise will be jumping jacks. Jumping jacks in three, two, one, go. The next exercise is going to be squat jumps. Keep going. I got the garage door opener on that side. <laughs> the squat jump will be hitting the garage door opener. Squat jumps in three, two, one, go. Our next exercise, we're gonna get down on the ground. We're gonna do mountain climbers. Mountain climbers in. Three, two, one, down. The next exercise will be push ups. Get ready for push ups in three, two, one, go. And our last exercise in the warm up will be shoulder taps. When you do your shoulder taps, do them slow, meaning you're going to squeeze that lat. I'll demonstrate here in a second. Get ready, three, two, one. And I'm squeezing that lat as I bring in that hand. I'm squeezing not only just this lat here, but I'm squeezing the lat that's bringing that hand up. I'm squeezing, squeezing both lats. I'm pressing and squeezing at the same time. Woo! Nice and slow and control. And relax. Okay. First exercise is going to be about 30 seconds. Get yourself ready. Get yourself your stability ball. Get yourself one weight. Recommend five pounds. Okay. So every workout is 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, and then we'll do a transition exercise before we move on to the next circuit exercise. Okay. So first workout we're going to do, you're just going to pick up and set. Three. Two, pick up, one, set. go. Notice here as I pick up, okay, first and foremost, I'm picking up, breaking the wrist and the elbow, and then I'm setting it, and I'm just coming here. There's no pull. And as I bring my body back, my hand comes back down to the tips. Pick up, set. What I'm working on, I'm getting tall to go forward. Three. Two, one, rest. Okay, what you're not seeing me do is that. I'm not rotating, leading with that bottom arm. 
I don't want lumbar rotation. I want upper back rotation. We'll get into that next on the next exercise. Three. Okay. Two. Here we go. One. Go. go pick up. Set. Pick up. Set. Now this motion here with the bottom arm. Okay. It incorporates the locomotive element. Our body is by definition with the muscles, the skin, the nervous system, etc. Is by definition called the locomotive apparatus. There we go. We should be moving naturally like a locomotive, right? Think about a locomotive. This is that bottom arm, right? Three. Not a choo-choo. Two. A locomotive. One. Rest. Okay, so we're going to go down on the ground, and we're going to go ahead and do renegades. What you're going to do is you're going to just bring that arm up and squeeze that lat. Squeeze that lat. Okay. Three, two, one, go. I'm going to squeeze that lat. Squeeze that lat. So as you bring that, think about that hand that's giving you st stability. It's like your top hand on the T-handle, right? You're leaning your weight or you're putting your weight behind the shaft, right? Ugh. Lapping that water. Squeeze that lat. Squeeze that lat. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, you're going to get back on the stability ball. What you're going to do now, we're going to bring that, we're going to be starting right at your bottom, your hand right at your right at your knee. You're going to come up, you're going to make Three, the rainbow. Three, two, and bring it back to your one, knee. Okay? Go. Pick up, make the rainbow. 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 Break your wrist and your elbow to make the rainbow. And finish off that, on that bottom knee, right on that forward knee. And when you come out, really lean out. Three, two, one, rest. If you're feeling it all on one, your shoulder, rest. If you're feeling it all on your shoulder, you're not getting your body forward. Get out there, lean out, so that way you can get that, that lat engaged. Okay, so I'm going to do it on this side. Three, two, one, go. So here, now, if I just do this, I'm putting all the strain on my shoulder, right? I'm not really getting my lat engaged. I want to get that lat engaged. I want to get it. So I've got to make the big muscle. So I've got to make a big movement. Notice how the difference is if I don't. Or if you find yourself collapsing in yourself, try to find that core control. Try to remember, the act of going forward is to put the blade in the water. And I want you to think about you're throwing your weight, Three, catching your weight, two, throwing one, your weight, catching rest. your weight. Okay? All right. So next exercise, what we're going to do is you're going to get that stability ball, and you're just going to do in and out. So this is just going to be for the transition. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. So as I was saying, as you're doing this exercise, I want you to think about when you get at the end of your stroke, you take your blade out of water. That's you picking up your weight and throwing it forward. And then you're catching your weight. What you don't want to do is you don't want to, and you want to catch your weight and bring it back. You don't want to throw your weight, drop your weight, and pick it up. Show the difference between dropping and picking up versus Three, throwing and catching two, and bringing it back. One, okay. rest. So you're going to grab now, you're going to grab both dumbbells. Bottom hand is going to go forward. Top hand is going to come around. So you're going to have it. Top hand right at your knee, bottom hand at your hip. Three, okay. two, one, go. Bottom hand is just going to go one, straight. Go. Okay? Don't let that bottom hand get ahead of the top hand. Make that bottom hand go straight and let that top hand just meet. Just meet that bottom hand. You can stack those hands. Whew. You should really be feeling it on that top hand lat right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Notice how my, my shoulders square up, and then I throw my body out. Three. That's that upper back rotation we're talking about. One. Rest. Okay. Now, what I was talking about earlier, you want to you pick up, pick up your weight, throw your weight, catch it, bring it back as you get tall. Three. What you don't want to do is two, you want to throw your weight one, and then have to pick go. it up. Okay, you don't want to drop your weight and then pick it up. You don't want to drop your weight and pick it up. You want to throw your weight, catch it, bring it back. Catch it, get tall. Catch it, get tall. Catch it, get tall. Catch it, get tall. Woo! 
the way I should have done the other iron. I was like, wait a minute, why is my, why did that lat feel more? So I was doing the other side earlier. I forgot to do this side. Three, so here. two, one, rest. Okay, we're going to do mountain climbers. I'm just getting my, uh, this reps down. Okay, we're going to do mountain climbers. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Mountain climbers, mountain climbers. Stability ball. And what we're going to do, you're going to get in a high plate position. Actually, a low plate position. And what you're going to do is you're going to go out and in. When you bring those arms out, make sure you feel those lats. Three, and bring yourself back two, in. Bring one, up. Go. Out and in. Out and then in. Out and then in. Woo! Feel how both lats are engaged. Both lats are giving you stability when you go out and in. Oh boy. And that core and those glutes are working. Everything is working on that torso. Three, two, one, rest. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay, we're going to do that again. After this, you're going to grab your paddle. We're going to do some paddle tai chi. Okay? Three, two, one. One, okay, here we go. Go. Out and in. Out and in. You're gonna get on your back, you're gonna do flutter kicks. Make sure your feet are six inches off the ground, not three feet, six inches. Three, two, one. Here we go. Go! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Just one hand, one hand, bottom hand. Now I want you to think your bottom hand and your hip. Your bottom hand and your hip are one of the same. They work together. You're gonna to pick up, hips gonna go back, bottom hand's gonna go out. Three, two, one. There's no go. rotation in this movement right now. Okay? You're just going forward and back. Forward, and I want you to think about forward and tall. Shoot your hips back to load to get your whole torso, get this whole body rock rocking. And I want you to think about, if you lead with your bottom hand, all your muscles underneath that bottom hand are the ones activated. Well, there's far more muscles on the top hand, right? So Three, if you want everything, two, no matter what hand you're leading one, with, rest. setting the effort in, if you're leading with your bottom, all you've got, all the muscles down here, you lead with the top, you set it with the top, you get all of this. We'll talk about that in the next paddle chi, chi workout. But for now, let's just work on Three, two, up. One. Picking up at the go. wrist, elbow, then shoulder, not shoulder, shoulder, elbow. Pick up with your wrist, then your elbow, set. Create that locomotive element using your hips. Now notice how my hip is what brings my bottom hand back, not me pulling. I'm not pulling. If I pull, I can't, I negate my hips. So I'm working this motion here. I'm going forward, getting tall. Three. Forward. Two, getting tall. One, okay. rest. So that was an easy workout. We're gonna do burpees. Just run in place. Get your body moving. Get ready, ready Three, rock and roll. Two, one. Here we go. Go. Burpees. Woo.
three, two, Woo. one. Okay, grab your rest. paddle. This time, just with the top hand. It's much like, again, like workout seven. Okay. On that cool down on workout seven, if you did the cool down or you did look at last week's three, workout tip. Two, just doing is one, go. Setting with the top. I'm winding up, setting. Now, think about that top hand is like me throwing a pitch. It's literally almost throwing a pitch, right? You see pitchers, when you throw a ball, they don't throw a ball like this, and they come out and then down. Why is that? What happens? They throw their bodies forward because they want to get their weight, they want to get their power behind the ball as they throw it. Three, two, one, rest. But in this case, catch it, one, right? rest. You catch it with your bottom hand. If your bottom hand is too far out, you ain't catching anything except for dirty water. And you're passing dirty water back to your teammate. If you happen to be in seat one, three, he's gonna get nothing but bubbles. Two, one, go. And you really wanna make sure, again, look at this. As I pick up, lats engage, right? Notice how, even here, I don't even have my bottom hand holding on. Notice what the bottom hand is doing. It's not, if I do this, I disconnect. I put a lot of strain on that hip flexor, I get that issue. You get that hip flexor issue, you get that top shoulder issue. Here, my hips are square to my shoulders. I throw my hands out, I get that upper back rotation, and then when I get back Three, tall, two, I'm getting my shoulders square back to my hips. Okay. Gonna do high knees. How are you gonna get, next exercise, you're gonna need one dumbbell. Three, two, recommend one, five pound. Go. Standing up, you're gonna bring up, you're gonna meet, bring that bottom hand down, grab the weight. Three, clam, two, two clam. Okay, one, get that go. top hand, pick it up, you're gonna set with that bottom, let it drop. Come right around, pick it up, set, drop. Come around, pick it up, set, drop. You might find yourself, this is going to be pretty awkward because you're used to doing this or used to collapsing or something. Again, we're kind of part of the movement. Two, one, rest. You're finding things frustrating physically, that's a good thing. It's a really good thing because you're training your body something that you didn't know already. Okay? So again, I'm going to grab this from my bottom my Three, top hand. I'm going to come around, feel one, that lat, go. clamp it, take that bottom top hand out, and drop. Okay? When you grab and you drop that hand, you'll feel the weight here and then it dissipates, but the weight's still the same. Same thing with that bottom hand on that grab. If you're still pulling and grabbing through the back end, good. If your competition, do that. I don't have to worry about you. I'll know you'll get tired at some point and I'll walk by you when I'm way behind you on that first stretch, right? Not Three, saying you can't do it, two, but I'm just one, saying the rest. likelihood of you getting walked is pretty high. Okay, so next exercise we're gonna do, all we're gonna do is jumping jacks with the weight, okay? You're gonna press that weight up. This is gonna be a transition exercise. Three. Here we go. Two. One. Go. stability ball. This time what you're gonna do, same thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get that, we're gonna stack our hands, we're gonna start square and then out. And I'm really focusing on putting, Three, just two, focusing on getting one, that top lat to work. Notice how my bottom hand is here, then my top hand sets, okay? I wanna catch, I wanna catch that bottom hand before it gets ahead of me. 
I don't want to do this, right? There's none of this. It's this. Get that top arm out. Woo! Stretch it out. Stand on one side. Three, two, one. Rest. Switch sides here. And you'll see what if I leave with my bottom hand, what happens? See, there's a disconnect. And I end up doing that, right? I don't know so how many powers. Three, three thousands two, of powers doing that one, same thing. Right? Go. All you want to do. That bottom hand is going to go straight out. That top arm is going to come across, and you're going to do that upper back rotation. So I want you to make sure that weight is squared, and then you're coming out, leading with that top hand. Let that top hand be the one that sets it on that bottom hand. Whew. 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 It keeps everything equal. Think about this is how you're Three, going. You're reaching up to do two, a pull up bar. One. Woo. Rest. Okay. You're going to do a transition exercise. You're just going to bring the arms out and back. Same weight, same weight. Oh, boy. Three, <laughs> two, one, okay. go. Go to that weight. And I want you to squeeze that upper back. Squeeze that upper back as you're bringing that weight back. Woo! Good thing this is a transition workout. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, rest. Gonna relax. Go ahead and grab your, your paddles. Okay? I'm gonna grab your paddle. You're gonna give one leg. One leg. Okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the whole stroke. And I want you to watch my hip in regards to that opposite leg. Three, two. My opposite leg goes back, one, my hip goes with go. me. I set and I lean. Now if you lead too much with that bottom arm, you're gonna find yourself a bit straining on one side. So make sure you wanna try to think keep everything equal. Up until that point where you've got to bring that top hand over and then back again. All that bottom hand is doing is picking it up, going forward, Three, and that top hand is what's set. Two, okay? One. The top rest. hand is doing the rotation. This is actual rotation, gang. Huh? 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 Same thing, okay? Here we go. Three, Not this. two, one, Again, go. If you're my competition, do that. <laughs> Not saying you can't beat me still, but you will be a lot more miserable than me. And the eventuality is you'll get tired at one point, you'll have a bad day, and you'll be like, damn, red walked me that day. Oh, I had a bad shoulder injury. All the adult reasons, aka excuses, come out. So really focus on getting those arms out, getting those lats, and Three, getting that top arm two, out and lat. One. Okay. Rest. Okay. Last exercise. Last exercise. You're gonna grab that weight. You're gonna grab that weight. Okay. And you're just gonna think about Three, rotating, two, keeping your hips square, one, and go. transferring that weight. Now think about it. you're rotating with your upper back. No lower back. All you're doing is keeping hips square, rotating with that upper back. This is what that upper back is designed to do. So we're gonna train our bodies to use this. This is your Three, front arm moving game. Two, one, rest. All right. Great job, great job. That's the workout, that's round one. Feel free to click the link on the below to do round two. Or feel free to try another workout. So three, workout four, two, three, one, or two. Cool down. Recommend doing Nicely workout done. number two. I think that's more lower body, right? So if you want to change it up a little bit, okay, and come back for the cool down, or use workout two's number cool down. Otherwise, just stick around for a couple seconds, or we'll break right back, get you ready for the cool down. Good job, guys. All right, gang, good job. Whether you did round two uh, on this workout or you did another workout and came back for this cool down, that's great. Today what we're going to do is we're going to get down 
You're going to get down on all fours. We're going to work. We just worked those out, that, those lats pretty good, right? And so what we want to do is we want to get those, get that body squared away, unwind those knots that we probably created. So we're going to get into a cat pose, and you're going to come in. You're going to bring that shoulder over. And you're going to just put your head down and feel that stretch out that lat. Oh, that feels so good. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Again, it's really important that you work out these dynamic stretches or you work out these stretches. You stretch yourself out at the end of wherever you work out. The warm-up is to get the body moving. Going switch sides. Body is to get those muscles primed and ready to go. You don't want to start a race. You don't want to start a workout cold. You don't want to do your warm-up during the race or during a paddle. You want to get that warm-up in. Then, more importantly, or just as importantly, you got to stretch up that body after you got done doing that workout. I can't tell you how many paddlers, especially you guys in Bahia up in San Diego, you get your freaking deal, put your paddle in, go and relax, put your canoe or surf seat back in the boat, you know, back in your car and head home. <sighs> anyway, let's go back. Now we're going to get into a task pose. And what you do is I want you to sink those hips in, really stretch out those, really get those shoulders and those, even stretch out those glutes. Oh, really reach out and get that. Oh, good, good feeling. Good, good feeling. You know, the thing is, when we put our bodies through stress, we're breaking down our muscles, you know, and they're repairing themselves, etc. And, you know, we get those knots, we get those bumps. I'm guilty of it, too. Oh, my God, I'm guilty of it. And you get these bumps, you get these things. When you're knotted up, you don't move up as well. You don't move as fluid. So it's really important, especially as we get older, get these stretches in. Whew. Okay, go ahead and relax. All right, so we're going to get into a cobra pose. We're just going to bring, dip those hips in. And I want you to squeeze, squeeze that upper back, open up that chest. Okay, and relax. All right, so what we're going to do now, what you're going to do is you're going to bring one arm out, and you're going to sink those hips in. Oh, this is so good. Woo! Feel that top arm. Feel that lat. Feel that extension. That is what we're talking about. You want to feel this just as much as you feel that load on that bottom hand when you catch your weight as you're going forward to put that blade in the water. Go ahead and relax. And then switch. Oh, drop the hips. Get that out there. Good. Okay, and relax. All right, let's get back here. Last couple of exercises here. We'll call it a day. What you do is I want you to bring your arms out, open up that chest, and I want you to bring that shoulder, bring that arm across the shoulder, so, and then drop the shoulder. Just drop that shoulder. Get that. Oh. Make sure you're not just all up here. Just drop that shoulder. You hit your arms up, drop that shoulder. Oh. Really, really good job, guys. Right, open up, switch. Get that there, and then drop the shoulder. All right, and relax. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's workout. Again, take a look at burnwater.com. Check out if you're interested in getting a Dragon Boat Blade or anything that's associated with Dragon Boat. They've got a great website. They've got a great brand. They've been around for years. Check them out. Quality service all around. Uh, couldn't recommend a better company when it comes to Dragon Boat uh, gear. Uh, also, don't forget to check out uh, Johnny Kukea's Cooped Up Tip on Facebook, on his Facebook page. I'll put the link in the description below. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thanks a lot, guys. Be safe, be healthy, keep moving, and I'll see you guys next week. Cheers.